so if you want to talk about basic ospf let's i have put it one example if you want to configure a basic ospf on a vh router so let's suppose this is your vh router here you have a ospf connectivity so that means what i said this will be a part of your vpn one let's suppose why because this is your service vpn and from here you have a internet link so it will be part of vpn 0 so i am only talking or concerned about this part so what i will do i will go to the vpn 1 i will write router i will put router id i will then again go ospf then what i will do i will redistribute static now see here what i have written redistribute omp so whatever root i am learning via omp i will redistributing it ospf under ospf so that my this router will learn all the information from all other sites right and my ospf will be in area 0 what are all interfaces you want to put into the area 0 gig 2 by 2 or gig 0 by 3 and exit so if i have a two interface also it will be gig 0 by 2 and it will be gig 0 by 3 i will put gig 0 by gig 0 by 3 in ospf so that my neighborship will come up and my omp will be advertised to my ospf but if this is your inter area or inter area route you don't have to configure redistribute ospf to the omp why because it will be automatically there so only thing you have to manually from omp to your ospf you have to manually configure it okay so this is how this you can achieve via cli also this you can achieve via gui also so for some of the lab we will see via gui but some for some of the lab we will see via cli so both you know you can have a hands on so if you do, if you want to if some people are uh, um, uh, they are much uh, uh, familiar with cli they can use cli those people which are which feels that gui is better then they can go for gui right so optional command for om routes some show ip omp peers you can use to see the what are all omp peers i have so ip routes you can see all your local routing tables so omp route you can see the omp routes so omp tloc you can see the tloc routes so omp summary you will have all the omp sessions that has been established via via those vh router to your all other vh router or your v smart or vhh okay so these are all some commands which are optional for the unicast routing so thank you very much hope you learn lot today uh, with respect to the omp tloc service chaining what are all parameters you can configure how you can achieve a uh, Uh, uh different different topology with the help of diff configuring different different policies based on different different vpns at what are all those commands so i came to know that uh, you all must have got uh, the you know, mails to access the uh, you know labs guide no i have not okay let me show you you may have got the online uninets.com credential i today morning i checked they said that we have sent these credential and access to all buddy please check your mail if someone they don't have please reply it to the manisha so that they can provide it to by monday by tomorrow sure. okay now okay so once you will you will put online.uninets.com once you will log in it then you have to go to my courses once you go to the my courses you have to you will see these two you know because you have paid for sd wan so you will be only getting access to these two um, uh, blocks one block will be the recording and another block will be the workbook so if i click on recording all the recordings which we have done till now you will see here all the recordings to, to yesterday recording is also updated a uh, today recording will be updated today and if, i must uh, must say i received that one yeah okay thanks all buddy please check right and for van book you go to the sd van workbook continue go to the lab 1 like click on lab 1 you will see 
the topology and this topology is based on your sandbox right so i mean i uh, by next week i am going to have two three labs but yes if you get time you can go through it also right and there you can do the next there there will there is a good presentation what are all these looks like what are all cli commands are there right what are all certificates are installed what are all omp peers we talked about right so omp peers so you can use that so you can check it and uh, lab 2 you can check it lab 3 you can check it so from lab 4 there will be a device template lab 5 will be your control policy and lab 6 will be your bfd i think yes so these three these two are templates why are configuring a template and one lab is your hub and spoke policy so six labs are there apart from that two labs will be i i will be demonstrating extra that is the jttp part and a manual uh, installation of vh router and it's in it, and its integration to the v manage okay guys thanks a lot yeah thank you Alok. very much alok yeah. uh, i have one question right for a second lecture uh, so firstly we have uh, vh will communicate with the uh, v bond right we give the ip address uh, to the v bond yeah okay so the after that communication establish and the v bond and vh connection will be uh, the tunnel will be terminated no 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 and no you skipped one statement once the authentication will happen between your v edge and v bond v bond will supply all the v manage and v smart ip addresses to the v edges okay. and then one because your v then your v edge will be aware that okay this is the ip address of v manage this is the ip address of v smart i have to communicate it i have to authenticate it and then your and then uh, your uh, connections between your v bond and v edge will be terminated then your authentication between your v edge to the v smart and v manage will occur okay after that uh, the v uh, v edge will get to know the ip address of the v smart and v manage right yes yes and uh, the interconnection uh, establish over the internet or mpls what yes yes mostly i mean if you talk about the jttp it will be on the internet if you talk about the manual then you can go for the mpls also jttp doesn't support the you know uh, on on mpls you have to manually configure it or okay. it will not support the you know zero touch provisioning method uh, on a mpls so i have explained it in a very good manner you can yes. check the i mean you will get you must have got the recording you can i mean it will be there for you till the time the course is there you can write it down note make a note of it or if you want a revision you can ask uh, they can also you know help you to extend some of more days so that your recordings and labs are available to you based on request and then you can achieve your you know a two days sd wan training and apart from that uh, for for the enhanced training and advanced training there will be a, there is a separate course which is still cisco has not launched uh, we are formally talking right uh, once we receive the booklet guide and everything lab demonstration everything then we will design it and then you will get all those details in your mailbox then you can go for advanced courses but yes uh, uh, but for this course you will be able to understand all your webtela product what are all policies how you can configure what are all templates how you configure centralized template how you will configure the data policy template what is the jttp i mean all the basic concept which is required for your building blocks of a building you can achieve that okay okay thank you guys thank you very much for attending today session uh, let's meet uh, next week saturday i'll 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 go through some labs and then we can move ahead thank you thanks thank, thank you, you.